What kind of marks we give for what? So first of all, of course, uh, the entrance and the first halt and salute is important. In this case, let's say it was not ideal because the horse did not uh, really halt long enough and was not uh, uh, moved a little bit, so not uh, a high mark for this. This is the half pass to the right and trot, which is also one of the required uh, movements. And then it is followed here by the half pass to the left. So there we want to see a fluent um, movement sideways with a lot of expression. Now she's on the diagonal and shows us the extended trot, also one of the required movements of the Grand Prix freestyle. And now, as you can hear, the music changes because also she does another movement. This is the passage, so we have to give a mark for this as well. And it has to be performed also on a straight line. Here the first PF. Not enough steps and also traveling a little bit too much forward. Then also we have to give a mark for the transition. And then again the passage, which is a very cadence movement with a lot of suspension and a very long uh, phase of suspension. Another PF where we would hope that the horse would come a little bit more off the ground and back into the passage. Very often you can see that the people put this uh, at the beginning of their freestyle because it costs a lot of power and strength from the horse, so um, it's quite good to do it at the beginning already. The walk uh, is also a required element and there are two types of walk the collected walk of course and then the extended walk that we see now here in this case um, the horse could show a little bit more ground cover it should uh, step more forward into the contact and should be a little bit more relaxed as well transition into the canter so as we saw in trot also in canter the rider has to show the uh, half passes to either side and of course uh, the steeper they are that means the more sideways they go the more difficult they are to ride in this case a little more on the flat side so not too steep And then from the half passes into the twos with a little mistake here. Two time changes, so the, chain, the horse changes the canter every second stride. Then the pirouette. We want to see a full pirouette here in this test at least, which she did now. Quite nicely on the spot, but a little, let's say, slowed down the canter. Then the extended canter, followed by the change. So now she tried to do the one-time changes, but it didn't really work. In the beginning, the horse did not accept the aid, and so it took quite a while until she found the rhythm, the right rhythm. Another pirouette now to the right, which is uh, quite reasonable. And now we see again the two time changes. Also not without mistake, unfortunately, at the end. Transition again, 
into trot, another extended trot. Uh, of course, the transitions must somehow match the music. If the music changes, we want to see the transition exactly in the same moment. So in this case, it was not really 100% precise. The last center line here was again a nice passage followed by the PF, which is not really enough on the spot. Then a transition into the passage. And so slowly, slowly the rider comes to an end of this test.